everyone. Welcome to Stitchy Fix. My name is Victoria and this is my mom, Chris. Hi everyone, welcome today. Welcome, welcome. You guys, we are in March. Yay, and it's warmer. It's warm, it's 65 Yay. in the Chicagoland area. And I was so happy because next weekend it was supposed to snow, but I looked again today and it says rain. I said, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll, take, I'll take anything that isn't snow. Everything's melted. We are ready for spring. We are. And Easter is coming fast. So baby Zofia will be four months on April 4th, which is also Easter, which is also last year when we found out we were expecting her we found out on easter so it feels like full circle <laughs> it's amazing a little bit that works. Yeah. and um i start work in two days you can do it you can do it, you can do it. You and can do everything it. has changed since i left <laughs> Well, we went from fully remote to now we are like fully in person for half days essentially um, But families could opt to stay remote and we are doing state testing. Wow, that's so fun. So Lots to walk into I know probably once I see the kids like my worries will kind of subside because They're the reason I do it. So very very they're Nervous gonna be so happy to see you right. They've never met me <laughs> Oh gosh, that's right. It was so, remote. That's yeah, right. they've never oh met gosh. me in person. So, are they, they in for a treat? Everyone? Aren't they in for a treat? <laughs> yeah, exactly. In my room, they took out the coat racks. Like the kids are on the wall to the window, and yeah, so it's gonna be crazy. But Daddy has taken off work, so I don't have to worry about like carting her around in the morning. So for at least four days. <laughs> right. Two days this week and two days next week. So that's that's the update for me. How's the basement? The same. The same. The same. Empty, ready to go. Empty, ready to go. Homework tonight is to empty some space in the garage. The stuff needs to go up to the attic because they're going to deliver the goods for the wall, the goods. <laughs> the the goods. For the, um, the drywall and the flooring. Yeah, um, we're gonna be stored in the um, garage until until they get to that point. And a new sump pump arrives tomorrow. Now, who would have thought your Wednesday could be made by a new sump pump? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's like the most adult thing ever. If you get excited about a new sump pump, well, and it's good timing because, like Victoria said, you know, it is good. the The one that's been in there has been in there for like thirty years. Yeah, like, what? But uh, so it's good to make sure that everything's gonna be dry and clean. Every time I look down there, I think, oh my gosh, it's gonna be so clean. Yeah. It's gonna be nice. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be awesome. Great. Yeah, it's gonna be great. And also, good news is like almost every single one of our family members has been vaccinated, or at least gotten their first shot right. in process. So. so that's super exciting. Especially with the CDC uh, news brief or yes. press release yesterday that about gathering when you are vaccinated. Mm -hmm. So vaccinated um, people can have small gatherings, basically. Right. And vaccinated people with one other family that hasn't been vaccinated that are not at high risk may gather. Right. So that's that's gonna open up the whole world. Now we just need everyone to still, still in be public, safe. In yeah. public wear yeah. masks and socially distance. Yeah. So um you know not to not to pound that point <laughs> in, but we all want this to work, right? We yeah, all we want, want to it go to back work. to normal life. Yes. So, um, yeah. no, it is it is exciting, and you know, people are having all different kinds of reactions to the second shot. We just ride that wave. Yeah. With patience and working through that. So. Yeah. But very grateful, and just um, hope, right? That it's yeah. giving everyone I mean, hope. And it's spring. It's exactly what spring should be. Yes. Yeah. It's sunny and yeah. warmer and I can't wait to push the babies in my new stroller. <laughs> we need to uh, take a picture when that happens so we can oh, insert yeah. it here. <laughs> All right, so we will get to stitching. Enough of that chit chat. I know some of you don't like the chit chat. We had a really, some of you are new to us and so welcome because we did that short little like six minute, I was like, we just have to do this video because the expo. Yeah. yeah, we've been pinning pictures of you know patterns we wanted and I was like I didn't know where to look so people watch floss tubes so I was like why don't we just do this real quick and we got so many people who watched that thank so, you for watching us. thank you for watching that and if you, you stayed watch. around because of that we are we welcome you here yes thank yeah. you so nobody finished anything this week I did <laughs> oh you did 
did. I did. Of course she did. No, it was the thing for my mom. Can I, is yeah. it my turn? It's your turn. Okay, so finished and fully finished object. And that again was Stitching with the Housewives Lucky Day. And while Chris talks, I will insert a picture. Right, so I pretty much did this just on a mint green, but used the rest of the colors as the same. And I think I've explained to you before, if you watched before, my mom has a little clipboard with a magnet, well, a metal clip that I put a magnet on the bow. Yeah. And um, I sent her some treats with it. Yeah. Um, and we got to share it with everybody, because the, I can, I then have permission to download the picture and I could share it with our family. And yeah. it was just, it's just uplifting. You know, I just, I just want to see her in person. Yeah, we can't wait for that. Yeah. Yay. So, and I and I actually loved the way you finished it because you did gold for crack. I did. And I did. it looked really, really nice. Um, we always send pictures, you know, before she takes it to my grandma. Yeah. So um, that was really cool. I thought she did a great job. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. And I finished. All right. Now <laughs> we're on to whips. Now we're on to Victoria. <laughs> well, I only worked on two projects. I know I said I was going to start the beading. I didn't do it. Um, of Christmas means more. But um, I hear result? you loud and clear <laughs> that we have yes. to do both Grinches. Chris's way, back to back. Um, so I, I did kind of get started on the second iteration of it. So I'm doing um, Brooks Books, this a free pattern. Um, of the Grinch and then one side is him like naughty <laughs> and like his heart small and then the other side it grew three si it grew three sizes um, so I finished all the back stitching and like all the stitching on the mean Grinch so that's fully done and then he's holding an ornament um, this is the bad side like the naughty side and then the good side so the only other thing i have to do is the other grinch which i will do although one person commented and they said if one grinch is what makes you happy then just do that and i was like yes and i found too i had said before it's kind of hard with the perforated paper like my thread was kept getting stuck and i cut the perforated paper that made it very <laughs> a lot easier. So, um, pro tip: don't keep the whole page if you don't need the whole page. Right. Yeah. And um, I'm gonna just cut like us. I now they're the same size, so now I'm gonna cut another piece that's the size of the smaller Grinch, and then put them together. We'll see when that gets done. Um, and that's in my very cute creative Carol uh, baby Yoda bag. <laughs> Which I love. It's very cute. Um, and then I also said, so I was going to do beading. I didn't do it yet. I will do it because I want to finish. I want to finish. Yeah. Uh, we were really excited to start Bunny Bakery. And last week we finally got the fabric. And I mm -hmm. picked up the floss. So this is Bunny Bakery by Priscilla and Chelsea. And I started. So I'm, that's a win. <laughs> um, my needle minder is Boo from Monsters Inc. right now. She's so cute. And I got the tan bowl started. And I sent a picture, what was it, Sunday night to you that I started it? Or told you I started you told it? Me, yeah. And then Chris sent me a picture because she's like, okay, I'm going to start. <laughs> and she outlined it and I was like, outlining. Duh. That's what but I should have been did. doing. But then I did it. Yeah, okay. so you inspired me to outline the bowl. That's another quick hack is outline solid areas. Right. So you don't have to count anymore. You count once and then, then you're good. Um, and that uh, pattern I've been keeping in my little bunny bag. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, and I'll put a link down below. I forget who this is from. The... Etsy shop, but I'll put it down below. So if you want this one, it was still out there it was. when I posted the link in the video last week. Yes. So, well, they're going I don't know. To, there's a lot of new patterns out there for project bags, and I think I might need a new project bag. Might. <laughs> might. <laughs> um, so, know. Stitch, you did your... Oh, so, there's my bunny bakery. I, we both start in the center, which is why we were at the big <laughs> mixing bowl. And see, she's beating me. Is this a race? It's not a race! I told her I started it, and then she's like, oh, I'm going to start it. 
had to start it. I had to start it. I it is to so start cute. It. Yeah, we're very I mean, excited to get to the cute part. This is not exactly. We also we uh, well. So this was really a week of trying new things. Yeah. So we have not ever stitched on this black on this chalkboard Ada before, and we yeah. wanted to know how we wanted to try it. Yeah. And this was we both felt successful because I yeah. know you had a white a uh, white. I put white on my lap. I have a little like white baby blanket. It's small, but you know, I just put it on my lap underneath. Did that help? Yeah. And so I use, uh, I have like the small ot lights like everywhere. So I realized at a certain angle, if I'm leaned up on the sofa with pillows, <laughs> it's, you it's, can get it it's just really right. well. And the other trick is, which you guys don't know, we both wear contacts. And we both yeah. have realized once we discuss this just yes. randomly yeah. that we both do our best stitching with Take no glasses, glasses off <laughs> and no contacts. Now I do I do add um, cheaters mm -hmm. um, if I still have my contacts in, but you don't. No. But um, but we both actually just it was just it was just funny that we actually even talked about it. Yeah. Because I'm like, well, I do my best stitching with no glasses on at all, just holding it normal, like yeah, no correction. So that was funny. We have another thing in common. Yeah. We we did have um, good success with lighting and working on the chalkboard. So um, I'm looking forward to like seeing the contrast. I think that's yes. the other benefit of seeing some of these uh, Priscilla and Chelsea's designs on the, the darker. Yeah. They really pops like that Valentine one I did on Navy. Exactly. That like totally popped. Yeah, and I think I'm gonna do like all the boring parts first. So the two mixing bowls are all solid and then the pedestal is yeah. solid and then it will be just like so fun because her little apron is all yeah, patterned. Yeah. Well, I think that's how um, Kimberly does it. Like, like, well, a lot of people do. Like, they that's how they approach the design. Yeah. Which, speaking about which, should we get into my whips? Yeah, go for it. So last week was my sister-in-law's birthday, and you probably saw that I found this treasure that needs to be finished. From the Frederick, basement. From the basement. Frederick the Literate. And I'm doing this for my sister-in-law. I don't think she's going to watch it, but Nora, if you do if you do watch this, just forget that I'm doing it. Um, but her birthday was last week, so I'm really like, this is actually something I really, really want to finish for Christmas for her. And so I decided, okay, on the, her birthday's on the 5th. Yeah. The 5th of every month, I'm going to make sure sometime in the week of the 5th, because I don't know what day of the week, what will happen. Right. But I'm going to stitch on I thought that, Frederick the Literate. Isn't that a good idea? A great plan. You know, it's a plan. And Two Martini Stitches does a similar plan. She calls it their Stitchy Birthdays. So her projects have birthdays. No way. And they always get taken out on oh, their wow. birthday. Well, when we look at the hall from today, a lot of my projects have birthdays today. <laughs> and they're gonna, yeah, twins, you yeah. know. <laughs> so I will, may I show? Of course. Okay, so this is Frederick the Literate. You saw the picture. Okay, the reason this kitty cat looks absolutely like touchable and sweet is because he's pretty much made up of multiples of blended oh, um, no. colors. Well. It is, oh no, but it's gonna turn out. So I thought I was gonna make a lot more progress. And this was like, you know, I don't know, a few hours of work. Right. And that's his, like, one of the colors in his head, which is a blended, um, you know, combination. Yeah. But that's why he's gonna look so sweet. So I don't, I don't mind at all. But I am excited about that plan because I feel like that's one thing that we've learned doing this. Yeah. Is you guys have taught us that yes. it's kind of like in the increments is gonna be the success. Yes. You know, versus like picking up a project and saying, oh my gosh, I have to finish this whole project tonight. Yeah. That's not it's really reasonable. It's a little reasonable. too stressful. Yeah. And then the only other thing that I worked on. Oh, that's Another awful. me inspiration. Yes. Victoria, um, well, she mentioned it last week's video about the Jim Shore Easter eggs that we have. Or I have. You have, yeah. Um, so I thought, well, I'll start the teal one because we know <clears throat> likes teal a lot. <laughs> um, and this is actually his butt. So this is also the first time I've ever walked. Or, oh wait, I'll show you the design first. Jim Shore. Oh, there you go. Jim Shore. And this is front and back, supposed to be, and stuffed in the inside. So I actually just picked up the back to start with. So this is the first time I stitched on perforated paper. And this came in a kit. So this piece was already cut. As you can see, he <laughs> is a little bit stage left heavy because I was estimating where the middle was and I started in the middle bottom. Luckily, that's all I need. That is the outside edge to cut around him. And then um, I was going to do a video for Victoria 
but I didn't have the right angle. I put the these the threads in the corner here are just because I got the needle threaded for beading and I put on one bead to show Victoria what I was doing and how to do that. Um, we still are finding it, a, I'm finding a challenge to thread the beaded needle. Yeah. Um, so we need to get a needle threader to and help I us. And I bought a tail tucker. What's it called? It's a tail tucker. Yeah, was a needle threader. I don't think so. Yeah. I don't think so. Let us know in the comments down below if a tail tucker is the same thing as a needle threader. Right. If it's, you know what we're talking about. Right. The tail tucker, like, I <laughs> know the one that Victoria, it's long. Yeah, it, it has, has a like, heart. a little heart on the bottom. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Because I was Christmas. looking for, right, when I'm in Hobby Lobby, I've been looking for those hoops that one of our um, kind viewers yeah. recommended that has more um, grip yeah. on the inside. Um, so anyway, so I did something new. Chalkboard, Ada, yep. and perforated paper, and, and one bead. Beading. One bead. But I can see that you have to do the beads at the end or you can't do all the crosses in between. And I see too, so Chris was describing to me, I said, do you have to go both directions on the crisscross? And she said, no, the bead ends up laying the opposite direction. Right, which, just so you know, Victoria and I do it up. We cross We're goofy our stitched. <laughs> Our left brained or right brained or mixed up brain that our, our we start differently than most of the rest of you but the they all go way. the same way yes and now the beads will go the same way too. yeah it's like surfing I learned to surf when I lived in Florida for a little bit and they call it goofy foot if you put like your left foot in front instead of your right foot and it's kind of like goofy stitch we yeah. also can you tell us if you goofy stitch <laughs> because what do we do we go top left down to bottom right mm -hmm. and then up top right down to bottom left as the right. top stitch right that's so it's opposite backwards. like if you read the directions but someone taught me that way so i taught victoria that way and i taught pauline that way so and we are making a little club <laughs> of goofy stitchers but i have i have seen on plus plus too that people say as long as you do all, the, all same. the same yeah it's fine but um mm -hmm. anyway we're having fun trying new things who knows if this little chick will get done by easter but maybe victoria's grinch will get done by christmas yeah, that I'm committed to. I was like, we have, um, so I'm going back to work this week, and I am going to be in the classroom two days this week, and then it's two weeks and spring break. And so I'm very grateful that I'm like kind of dipping my toe in. I mean, I have to get report cards out, but I was like, okay, I can stitch on spring break, is what I was thinking. Oh, that's a great when idea. When I'm not staring at my baby, because I've missed her. Yeah, that's going to be hard. Yeah. All right, we have a lot of haul. And by we, this lady. Well, it is the, well. We share, we share, to be we, fair. She just share. shows me after the fact, and then I say, oh, I want that. I oh, I want that. Share. But I did get her a surprise. And yes. we'll start off with the surprise first, because I might have gotten, I got our other little, our, our Pauline, one of these two. Pauline but. is my sister-in-law, in case we say her name again. Okay, Pauline. <laughs> anyway, for Easter, I could not resist these needle minders. Here's one it's outside thumper, of it. Bum, bum, thumper. Oh, wait. We love a Disney moment. Yeah. So that was their surprise. It is www.nikas designs. Anyway, it was really good. But then, look what I got. So I did find, just like now, scissors. I'm going to have to order some more uh, Fat Quarter Shop line keepers. Oh yeah, now you're obsessed. Now I'm obsessed. It's so much <laughs> easier to follow along. But I ordered this beautiful little, look how this came. So I ordered this bunny with just a little, a little white butt. See the little white bump butt, butt? You might have to take it out. I'll take it out. But that's how it came. And we had like such a nice note in it. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's just amazing. Just says made with love. Look at her little butt. Isn't that cute? That's cute. And then I only ordered one needle minder and I got two bonus ones that are just like as cute as this one with the little bunny butt. Oh, it is. I knew you'd want that one. It's wood. I was trying I to figure it. out what it was made out of. I love it. And then look at these. So these sweet. She gave. Okay, now look, I ordered one more. I couldn't help it because I love riding my bike. 
And this is Mad for Minders. I think I've heard of people buying theirs before. Or did you buy Mad for Minders before? I don't recall. Okay, look at this bike with sunflowers. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so funny story is, I saw a pattern that I wanted to get from 123 Stitch because I had seen it on a floss tube and I'm just like obsessed with it. I'm gonna do this one day. Oh yeah. The Holiday Quaker. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Um, as, and I know many of you have seen that before. So the funny thing about this is, I go to 1323 Stitch from like my phone and I place the order because of course, you know, I was doing it probably during work hours or whatever. And the next thing you know, I get another Natalia Ro and Rose because I forgot that I left it in my cart. Well, I had told you that you have two of these. I know, because I got one for because I saw it in a floss tube and I was like, oh, wouldn't that be sweet to have like a Christmas pattern in Sophia's room? Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, I love it as well. I'll put it in when she was ordering this one. And then she's like, it was already Whoops. in my cart. It was already in my cart. <laughs> so now we each have one. So maybe we have a statistically a good, better chance at one or the other of us actually finishing it yes. for Easter. Or Christmas. Christmas. I was like, I cannot finish it in five weeks. But um, this will be another fun one to start for Christmas weeks. Anyway, um, that was my one, two, three stitch purchase. And, and one for me. And one for Victoria. <laughs> and then I, I literally bought this from Priscilla and Chelsea the day they released it. Could not stand it. And um, I'm going to make that for my mother. So this she needs that in two weeks. Chicks dig me. Chicks dig me. Can't help that. What's in my cup series? And then I happen to get, so I am in the fabric month, month of the month, Ada Club from Fat Quarter Shop. And it came, it came this week. And I'm like, oh, that will go perfect with Chicks Dig Me. So there's two pieces already. And I do like, and we've mentioned this before, that Priscilla and Chelsea tend to use the same color palette. Yeah. A lot of crossover. So um, while I was there at their, you know, Etsy <laughs> shop, I had to download radishes because I had yeah, the other radishes ones. Radishes at Zinnias. Or Zinnias. Oh, I'm so sorry. I said the wrong word. Zinnias. I do like that one the best of all the seeds. Do you? Yeah, I think it's the prettiest. I also like the jars. Yes, the ball jars. Yeah, 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 exactly. So anyway, I'm excited because both of those could be finished on that fabric that I just got. And it looks like a lot of haul, but that's just because like I'm in two... <laughs> She's just justifying to you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm in two monthly clubs and they're all like shipping on time now. One is the um, March um, typography and then the snapshot club. So even if I don't get to these, I, I'm, I'm glad I'm going to have the whole series. Yes. And I get very excited when I see them and it inspires me and you know a lot of um, you know in like a lion, out like a lamb. And I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> so we had okay. a whole, so whole conversation, conversation about the weather. <laughs> um, so if you don't know what that means, it means if March comes. If March comes in like, like a, a lamb. lamb. Well it came in like a lamb. Uh -huh. Means there's a high probability it's going to go out like a lion. So we had nice kind of gentle weather starting the month and it who knows when it's going to be by the 31st and vice versa it could come in like a lion and then out like a lamb see never knew that oh, before uh, <laughs> i don't know many of you you'll have to check the farmer's almanac and see if that's true okay and then we have go to what, your farmer's almanac i know you got it sitting around somewhere oh come on Google it. Google it. okay so then we have one more purchase and we just we couldn't resist we could not resist oh, it's so cute is she so it's um, so it's the Cottontail Patchwork Seasons. This is the Easter one. Um, Kimberly from Fat Quarter Shop said there's gonna be one each holiday. Okay, and I got the fabric, and I had to get the floss pack because they're gorgeous. I had to. We get DMC, not the NPI. That's what they're doing this on. So, aren't those amazing colors? I mean, they're just speak spring and lightness, so light and yeah. happiness, and you know, I'm not sure it'll be done this Easter. No, but it's a little big, <laughs> but we got inspired. And this is what I told Victoria. Do you see this? This is in the traditional project <laughs> bag. Old school. <laughs> a Ziploc bag. Yes. Somebody thinks I need another project bag, but yeah. probably not. But. <laughs> There's no you know limit. <laughs> we, have, we enjoy just doing this and just, I mean, yes, we are sort of enabled by our shopping, but 
We yeah. enjoy talking about our progress during the week. We yeah. absolutely love watching all of you guys that are that do this floss tube and reading the comments. We are so excited to go to our Elena's for my birthday. Yay! And maybe our things that we ordered from Market will be there. And and I was so excited to hear. So okay, so one of the the items that I ordered from our LNS, which happens to be Inspired Needle, is um, the French Cuisine series, which until I saw the hands-on design, I didn't realize that she had already, I had seen those different herbs in the store when we've been shopping. Yeah, like a models of them. Yes, and um, and then when we heard her, sh her you know, called out on uh, the hands-on design uh, floss tube, it was just like, oh my gosh, we've been there. Yeah, you know? I mean, it's just like, we're just, it's, it's just, just fun. fun. Yeah. Just but we hope that you enjoyed this video and and at 500 subscribers, which we're really, really getting close. <gasps> we're so close. We are going to have a big giveaway. Yes. It's going to be fun. Huge. Huge. <laughs> How huge, Victoria? So huge. And we celebrate every one of our subscribers. And it's really just. I mean, and views and people that view and don't even subscribe. Oh yeah, but I think like it's just nice to see a name. You know, like you're out there and we know you and you know us. Or we hope you're getting to know us um, through these videos. Um, so we just love seeing your name when you subscribe. So that's why we say that. And also we can do like fun, you know, bookmarks in our journey. Yeah, which is kind of cool too. Yeah, yeah. and we'll get more stitching done next week. You won't. I, I don't won't. commit me for that. I'm like, I'm going to be committed by next week. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you will be committed, but no. Yeah, yeah. So um, we are so excited that you're here, and that's why we want you to subscribe. And let us know in the comments down below if you're a goofy stitcher like us. <laughs> and you do your crosses backwards. Um, so we can make a little goofy stitch club. <laughs> yeah, and you guys really do inspire us. Totally. We love we love seeing your your progress. I mean, designers. Um, yeah, you know, we're we're really just. We touched. felt so famous too after the Needlework Expo because some of the designers like I saw know. our video. Thank you very much. So that was really cool. So we can't wait to. <laughs> Mom was like, now we have to really stitch those right away. So, but we also have a new subscribers from Australia and Belgium, and it's Yay, so. Antwerp. So cool, and we are so glad you are here. Um, and we're just, we just love you guys. So, that's all of our stitchy progress for this week. Lots of haul, little bit of progress, and a finish. And a finish. That's good. Um, and we hope you have the stitchiest week and get as much as you want stitched or as little. And we are so grateful you're here. And we'll see you in our next video. We will.